Ever since man first looked into the night sky, he knew that he was a part of something much, much bigger than himself. The vastness of the heavens was incomprehensible. The breadth of it all spoke of things eternal. And in looking at the heavens, man believed that perhaps he was really looking into the face of God. From Psalm 19, the heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech, and night after night they display knowledge. So where are we in this place called the universe? Our moon is our nearest neighbor, one quarter of a million miles away. Our sun is 93 million miles away from the earth. The solar system is flying through space at 134 miles per second, spinning as it goes. It is a part of a vast collection of stars and star systems. Scientists estimate as many as 200 billion stars are a part of this collection called the Milky Way galaxy. Saturn, of the nine planets in our solar system, is over one billion miles away. It is 1,000 times the size of our Earth. Of the 200 billion stars in our Milky Way galaxy, six billion of these stars have planetary systems like ours. Every star we can see in the night sky lies within the realm of our own galaxy. Voyager 1 is now the most distant human-made object in space. It was launched in 1977, traveling at a speed of 40,000 miles per hour. It is just now arriving at the edge of our solar system. The sun there is only one five thousandth as bright as here on Earth, so it is extremely cold and there is very little solar energy to provide electrical power. The fact that the spacecraft is still returning data is a remarkable surprise to our scientific community. Our solar system, containing the Sun and the nine orbiting planets, orbits the center of the Milky Way galaxy on just one of its outer spiraling arms. Our Milky Way galaxy, the home to our solar system, is just one of over 125 billion galaxies that make up the visible universe. Andromeda is the next closest galaxy. It is 10 million, million, million miles away from the Earth. Traveling at the speed of light, it would take two million years to reach Andromeda. Andromeda and the Milky Way form a small cluster of galaxies called the local group. Beyond the local group, are even greater clusters of galaxies. Man has no knowledge whatever of what lies beyond this distance. From Hebrews chapter 11, by faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. From Colossians chapter 1, and Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by Jesus and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. How big is God? The Bible declares that the endless eternal universe is just one of God's creations. As incomprehensible as that is for our minds to conceive, what may be even more unimaginable is that in the vastness of all that he has made, he loves you. And through Jesus Christ, his Son, the God of the universe, extends his hand and his love to you.